after after eight years i can't do it hey welcome back to the channel my name is seam lund and i want to make this introduction about how i'm going to stop doing 16 and 80 method of intermittent fasting but if you've seen my videos previously if you watch my channel for a long time then you know that i've actually been doing one meal a day for the last five years but in this video i wanted to just you know go through why i switched over from 16 and 8 into one meal a day in the first place when i did it five years ago make sure you click a like and subscribe as well for future videos about optimizing your health and performance do it i've been doing intermittent fasting in some shape or form uh, since uh, the end of high school and by now it's almost like 10 years i've been doing that consistently i've tried different methods of uh, intermittent fasting i've tried one meal a day i've tried the warrior diet I've tried extended fasting, I've tried alternative fasting and the 16 and 8 method. I think that the 16 and 8 method is actually one of the best uh, methods and the best windows for doing intermittent fasting. I think it can work virtually for all people and uh, can give you, you know, the vast majority of results that you're looking for when you're doing intermittent fasting, whether that be body composition, productivity or longevity and health and those kind of things. 16 and 8 method is a great, is one of the best ways of doing intermittent fasting in my opinion. Actually, I did the 16 and method for the first five years of uh, my intermittent fasting journey. I saw great results from it. I still progressed at the gym. I was getting stronger. I was building muscle. I would read, never go back to like a three meal a day uh, schedule, uh, but I would still do some form of 16 and 8 uh, at least. So the reason I stopped doing the 16 and 8 method around five years ago when I switched over to one meal a day didn't have anything to do with the 16 and 8 method uh, in of itself. It still worked. It still gave me great results. I could have kept going. But the reason I switched over to eating one meal a day was because of mostly like time management. Like back then I was actually first starting this YouTube channel and first starting my blog and everything related to you know uh, starting to write books and all those things so i had to have like a lot more time in a sense i was like re really you know working hard and working long hours every day basically i was working from the moment i woke up uh, until the moment i went to bed it made sense for me to even skip the second meal that i was having and i was switched over to just eating one meal a day and uh, that was what uh, you know, motivated me in the first place to switch over to one meal a day. That was mostly like time management and productivity wise. Nice. From a health side, I didn't see any like drastic changes. Um, from a workout side, I didn't see any like huge uh, changes uh, either. The most biggest reason had to do with just, you know, time management. End of flashback. Now I've been doing one meal a day for uh, five years. I've tried different methods of doing one meal a day as well. I've tried the strict one meal a day where you're literally eating only one meal a day. But I've also inc incorporated uh, having like a protein shake and some amino acids during the fasted window before you're working out. This is obviously much better in terms of strength and muscle growth. If you're eating only one meal a day, it doesn't really work the best for, um, let's say, resistance training and working out. But you're not going to be like as strong and as uh, big and as, let's say, fit as you could be if you have like additional protein intake before that one meal a day. I still do the one meal a day for the productivity and all the time management wise. Just for this reason alone, I want to continue doing the one meal a day. But to overcome the limit of this fitness aspect and body composition aspect, then I incorporate this protein shake and amino acids before working out and that gives me basically the uh, like maintains my time management and productivity and at the same time i'm still able to you know build muscle and to get stronger over time you crazy son of a bitch you did i did actually return to doing the 16 and 8 method just to like experiment and to break things up a little bit a few months ago uh, to see you know what happens i did eat uh, two meals a day consistently for maybe like a few weeks i didn't see like any like negative changes either like i didn't have like any like maladaptation or anything like that i just didn't like feel comfortable for me uh, i just you know prefer to just eat one meal a day and uh, the rest of the day kind of fast it keeps me a bit hungry like I, th I think that small hunger is actually that i enjoy <laughs> like i enjoy getting a bit of hungry during the daytime uh, for both the cognitive and the like physical uh, benefits that I get from that it uh, maintains maybe like a bit of yeah a bit of like this drive a bit of more focus mental sharpness those kind of things I see more when I do one meal a day obviously this is not suitable for people who um, aren't comfortable with hunger there are many types of individuals who 
may not be like suitable for going that long times without eating actually they may get mood issues they may get anger issues they may get pissed off in that case you don't need to do that i'm not saying that one meal a day is the best <laughs> it's just suits for me maybe some other individuals as well but a certain type of individual who tends to like get overly stressed out overly anxious overly moody overly angry or they may overly overeat after they break the fast then for them one meal a day isn't suitable for them the 16 8 method is uh, perfect and even then like you don't need to do the 16 and 8 precisely you can even do just a fast of 12 hours or 14 hours that already is very good from a circadian rhythm inside and it does help to um, you know not spend the majority of the day in a fed state already winning so the reason i stopped doing the 16-8 method has nothing to do with the 16-8 method itself it's just that i prefer to spend more time in a faster state i like the mental acuity and sharpness and kind of the light lightness that i get from that uh, it hasn't interfered with my body composition or fitness uh, side either uh, but i do have to like incorporate some protein <laughs> before my actual meal so that i could progress in the gym like with a strict one meal a day i haven't seen that it's possible because of your being too catabolic essentially usually i have the protein shake uh, during my workout which is around like 20 hours of fasting so it's you know it's a very still a narrow time gap but it does give me like this additional boost that i uh, need to maintain progress if you do want to learn about intermittent fasting and want to do it without the side effects and get all the benefits then uh, check out my video course about it it's uh, over five hours it has over 35 videos and it's uh, 4k quality hd and it's very uh, well made other than that thanks for watching this video make sure you click like subscribe notification bell as well my name is seem stay optimized stay empowered